village now. Ah, it's you again. <laughs> a little better. That's great. Seems like getting rid of the meteorites is traveler. Your arrival is most fortuitous. Clearly, my noble ambition to protect the souls of this wretched world compelled you. I'm boy. You mean a, a diplomat? Ah, yes. Let me fill you in here. Someone brought a message from the Dawn Winery saying that a lady there. Oh, we know Adeline. She's the head housemaid there, right? Ah, it seems that you and Adeline are already acquainted. Then it is my great honor to join you. Hey, so. Can you really understand that princess when she's talking? Because I'm un- All right. My dear friends, it is time to move up. Paimon hopes Adeline has made some tasty snacks to welcome her honored guests with. Welcome to the Dawn Winery, dear adventurers. I'm Adeline, the head housemaid, and it is I who invited you all here. Thanks for the invite! You are Adeline? <laughs> Splendid. I am delighted to grant you the- Dearest Adeline, on behalf of Her Majesty, Miss Fischl, the Princess in de Varotalong. <sighs> Would you cut to the chase already? Your titles are so- My goodness. An adventurer of such dis- My pale-faced proselyte! How dare you interrupt a diplomat of the royal court in the middle of his speech! In fact, one of our employees here at the Dawn Winery, a Mr. Hartman, fell- I hear that you are the ones who disposed of the meteorites. Thanks to you, Mr. Hart- We are in your debt. It is merely common courtesy that I should invite you over for tea. This Aw, you're too kind, Adeline. We're really just doing what any of- You may now kneel before your princessin and make effusive display of your thanks for the favor that I have generously shown to thee in thy winery- Oz, hold off on the translation. Paimon wants to have a try this time. I applaud your powers of comprehension, my dear Paimon. You decipher mine Fräulein's royal utterances with remarkable ease. The business of the winery reaches not only to all of Mondstadt, but to all the corners of Lua, too. Some of our- Two of our delivery staff were due back yesterday, but as of this moment, I still have no contact from them at all. I worry that they became- The winery is short-staffed at present, and I cannot afford to look for them myself. As Okie dokie, don't you worry, Adeline. We're expert people finders. Oh, wonderful. I suggest you begin by asking around at Stonegate. Oh, there were two carts in total, and the workers' names are Fritz and Ben. <laughs> Two Mondstadt carts, both loaded up with wine. Hmm. Sorry. Okay then, we'll keep asking. Hello. Have you seen any Mondstadt merchants traveling through? Ah, oh, 
I am afraid I have very poor eyesight. Oh, uh, okay then. Cards originally from Mon from Mondstadt, you say? You know, I th really? Which way did it go? Let me think. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it was. Thanks, Mister. Now to chase down that cart. me half to death. Thanks so much. <sighs> so, which one? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm Ben. How did you know my name? Per Adeline's wishes, we came here sp- Ah, uh, I suppose she must have started worrying. I'm afraid that Fritz's cart is stranded out on the main road between Dihua Marsh and Stone Gate. It got- <clears throat> Anyway, we agreed that I'd finish the delivery and then bring someone back to fetch him. I really hope Fritz is okay. With me getting delayed here, the poor guy's been- Between Stonegate and Dihua Marsh, right? My pale-faced proselyte, for a sharp pain now afflicts mine ogd of earth. Is the guy on the floor sleep? I believe so. I've tried everything, but he won't wake up. Looks like he touched the meteorite. Just if by meteorite you mean the rock that struck the cart, <laughs> worry not. I but by others, 
Do you mean to say there are others who have fallen into a similar- One has witnessed with one's own Ogda for Ertalung, the nightmarish slumber that proceeds forth from the Valley of Demon Bone. It has- As Main Fräulein most eloquently describes, we have just come from Mondstadt. Wh is that so? It appears these meteorites really- Seems this guy is dressed like a winery worker. And given that worker's attire has precious few distinguishing features. Actually, Paimon's eyesight is normal. Paimon just has a really great memory. You're right, though, his clue. <laughs> and by this guy. Yep. Paimon's never seen anyone dressed quite like you before. I am a vagrant from Inazuma. I had just stopped to assist this poor gentleman when you turned up. Are you investigating the aftermath of the meteorite strike? Yeah, we were sent to help out. I am Fischl, Prinzessin de Ertelung. Respond- I am Main Fräulein's humble familiar, Oz. And Paimon is an honorary knight of the Knights of Favonius's best friend- Oh? Then you must be said honorary knight of said Knights of Favonius. Behold my people! Your beloved sovereign in the flesh. Do not despair, for judgment by thundering retribute. Um, excuse me? Don't mind her, just, you know, let her do her thing. Excuse me, what's going on here? Oh, great. Good thing you're here, Mr. Millilith. This guy's fast asleep and he Ah, it appears this is now in the hands of the Millilith. It was truly a pleasure to meet you all. I have other matters to attend to now. So, adventurers, I wish you every success in your endeavors. Bye-bye. So, what happened was, we came here looking for someone and found them. Thank you all for your cooperation. This victim is now in the care of the Millilith, and we will escort him safely to the disaster. Disaster relief? You Correct. We have established a disaster relief station at Wangshu Inn, where the unconscious victims of the meteorite strike- A wise decision by the Millilith. Paimon can't stop worrying about poor Fritz. We- <sighs> I suppose I- This cruel curse of cold spreads without mercy. Oh, heaven on- Hey! Keep your voice down! T Might I suggest we make some inquiries? Faster? Okay, faster. Halt! Who are you? We've been commissioned by the Adventurers Guild to investigate the meteorite strike. I see. Very well, adventurers. You may take a look. Paimon wonders what he's dreaming about. Hmm. Fritz does not appear to be here. It's another sleeping victim! His soul is in anguish! Ensnared by a thousand thorns. Peace at last. Main Fräulein simply wishes him a speedy recovery. Come on, Fritz. Another sleeper. Most unfortunate. Crucified to a cruel cross of calamity. There is but one means of awakening those who slumber. Precisely, Main Fräulein. If we dispose of the meteorites... This is so weird. 
That Millilith guy promised he was going to bring Fritz here, didn't he? Hmm. Let's go see what the innkeeper has to arrived with several new victims not long ago due to the limited capacity and okay well could you give him a message when he wakes up um, he needs to get back to the dawn winery as soon as possible and let adeline know that he's safe and sound <sighs> I will... and if i may be so bold adventurers please tell us what is pray tell of thy troubles the I understand from the mill of the soldiers that you were investigating. This made me wonder. Perhaps my friends from Mondstadt have... From what we've seen so far, all you need to do is get rid of the meteorites and the... Is that so? Then, if I understand you correctly... Yep. In that case, I would like to enlist your services in that regard. Do you think you can dispose of the meteorites in the vicinity of the inn? Oh, wonderful. Okay, faster. What is that? This meteorite is way bigger than the others.
to have taken firm root. Though my magic arrow of midnight purges them in an instant, they return- Indeed, main Fräulein. Despite our best efforts to dispose of the meteorites, they continue- The strikes are happening faster than we can get rid of them. I, Fischl von Luftschloss Nofedort, have traversed a thousand worlds. And yet never- This menace is neither monster nor magic. It is a curse, I say. A curse? Such a foul curse could only arise as a consequence of the continuous cries of unanswered How very tragic. Is this the inevitable fate of mankind? Paimon didn't quite get the part about 
the thing being lost? Were they not a curse upon humanity? Why then should they send humans into slumber? <sighs> to be lost twixt life and death in an unending dream. We must underestimate the magnitude of this matter no more. I fear this sinister force can traveler. Fetch me the one fated to face this fierce and who might Main Fräulein is of the opinion that one with the requisite expertise should be summoned to deal with this matter. Um ugh. Paimon can't think of anybody either. Catherine, the hour of destiny is upon you. I have invoked the sacred covenant between us. Hmm, let me see. A Whoa, she got it in one. Catherine must be super smart. Unfortunately not. Though I do know of an astrologist. As it happens, the traveling astrologist Mona is currently in Mondstadt. Do you know her? Well, that simplifies things. Please wait. I will fetch you. Hmm? Someone looking for me? Who is it? Oh, it's you. So, what did you want? Astrology is an ancient and mysterious art. If your problem is a banal one, you can count me out. So... And all of this was caused by the meteor shower. The darkness consumes every corner of the land. And in the fading twilight, only the- Ms. Mona, your means are most crucial to our ends. Huh? Are you all- t I am Fischl von Luftschloss Nafodot, Prinzessin der Verurtelung. And I hereby extend to- Prinzessin der Verurtelung. I hail from a distant and long-lost land, known the in my what, Reich? <sighs> Alas, precious few mere mortals know- oh, Mere mortal? Do you have any idea who you're talking to? Just give me one second with my scry glass. Then we'll see where exactly this homeland of- Ms. Mona. I humbly beseech you to refrain from probing the question of Main Fräulein's homeland. Surely a wise mage such as yourself can sip. No, but... <sighs> yes, you're quite right. So, the goal here is to get all the sleepers to wake up. Am I right? Understood. All right then, don't you- First things first, though. We need to get out of the city. There's too much magical disturbance here. L Wide open space, clear sky. This will do nicely. I will now begin the process of hydromancy. Stay back and do not. Whatever it was you just did, it looked odd. Oh, Astral Emissary, have thine eyes now discerned? Yeah, what did you find out? How strange. 
The divination shows that these meteorites came from someone's constellation. Constellation? But they don't have anything... That's what most people tend to think. But I've studied astrology for a very long time. The stars that make up a constellation, the Stella Fortuna, are genuine celestial bo- The strange thing is that they turned to meteors all of a sudden and fell from the sky. Why this ha- A curse! A wretched curse, I say! A curse? I, too, have journeyed to the stars, gazed beyond the veil of darkness, and glimpsed a shred of the truth. There, only one who died the most agonizing could leave behind such a vengeful spirit. We must interrogate the population, find the doer of this diabolical deed. The Sorry, I'm not quite following you. What curse and what killer? Uh, don't take every word she says. What's going on here? Why are the Traveler and Paimon frantically winking at me? Oh, oh, I understand. Thou dost? <laughs> Marvelous. The Astral Emissary- Mutual understanding is the crucial first step towards effective teamwork. You are hereby appointed as an honored servant of the Princessin. Unleash thy power in service of our- Honored? <laughs> you should feel honored to have found me. Without me, you'd be doing ten times the work for- <laughs> Paimon likes you, Mona. You seem like the real- <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm glad you agree. Feel f with my astrolabe, I have ascertained the trajectory of fate. Next, I'll calculate the locate. I need to look into the constellation issue in more detail. In the meantime, let me know ASAP if you find any- Don't worry about it. As far as the astrological aspect goes-